What is going on Libra? Welcome or welcome back to the channel Elevated Spirits. It's Jazzy, your favorite Cali reader. This is going to be your what you may not be expecting within the next 30 days. So um, remember these readings are for the most part timeless. Um, but for whenever you see this video, there isn't highly likely a message here for you. So please keep in mind that these are general in nature, meaning they're not going to resonate with all of you nor are they meant to. So please only take the messages that truly feel like they're yours um, and leave the rest for someone else. Okay. So this is um, the time frame for this is within the next 30 days of when you see this reading. However, um, some of this may have already played out. Some of this has yet to play out. So just keep that in mind. All right. Um, so first, I'm going to start with the bottoms of your deck of the decks that I used um, for your reading. And then we will after we jump into um, the messages up here, we'll then dive in deeper with the tarot and then clarify with the different deck. OK. So just looking at the bottoms of the decks that I have used, um, I feel like some of you or maybe in this energy, it feels like this reading for one is just is going to be juicy already is what I'm getting here. And that could be positive or negative. It's, you know, it all depend on how you, um, you know, your perspective of your situation. And like I said, if the messages are actually yours, um, but just looking at it, it feels like it's going to be juicy just because of what popped up here. I was going to flip it back, you know, um, face down how I have the rest of them, but I just left it. Um, but so I feels like some of you, this definitely feels like more so, um, a reading regarding your love life, regarding a connection or, um, for some of you, it's someone that you're living with. Okay. I feel like for some of you, um, this definitely has to do with love and reason being is it just feels like some of you are either discovering some type of truth or you are, some of you are realizing that someone is trying to control you. It feels like some of you are um maybe in this in-between space of you know kind of like checking out your surroundings kind of like looking observing um kind of like watching your person okay for those of you that are, are in a connection it feels like some of you are in this energy of watching this person of really kind of like seeing um i feel like some of you may be having like inklings or nudges of this person's behavior where things don't feel maybe as it's like something's off is what i'm getting here some of you may be feeling like something with your person or something um, about your person is off where they're acting different their behavior is different is shifted in some type of way and I feel like some of you are you know kind of have an inkling that there is someone else involved here and so some of you may be you know in this process of moving with your partner like relocating with them um, some of you may be in the process of moving in with your partner some of you may be trying to leave the connection completely it's it's like I said it's going to be different for all of you um, but some of you are kind of like in this energy of where it feels like someone is maybe trying to control you or something. And so some of you are kind of like maybe hesitant on whether or not you should move in with this person. For those of you where your connection is still quite fresh, maybe you guys aren't living together yet. Others of you who are already, um, you know, living, cohabitating with this person, it feels like some of you are kind of like in this energy of where maybe you guys are thinking about buying a house together and maybe that could be kind of like, I don't know if I should do that anymore. So some of you, I feel like are in this energy right now or you will be in the next 30 days of, you know, because this is where I'll talk, this is all about the unexpected, what you're not expecting. So some of you have maybe had, you know, this expectation or plan, I should say, of moving in with this person, maybe buying a house together, you know, whatever. And maybe within it feels like within this 30 day time frame that some of you may be reconsidering moving in with this person where if you were gonna you know pack your bags and maybe uproot your life to move in with them or to cohabitate with them some of you may be on the fence about that um within the next 30 days that could be something you're not expecting that you were maybe had all the plans to move in with this person to buy a house together or to just even live together you know to be closer to each other um some of you may be changing your mind about that okay so let's dive into your reading 
like I said, this is um, the unexpected, what you're not expecting to happen within the next 30 days. So we have general messages, um, messages regarding your money, career, finances, your love life and challenge, okay? And a potential outcome overall, all right? So first message, general messages, what you're not expecting. So we have journey in reverse. Okay, so for some of you, this is like a stuck energy. Some of you may be wanting to move or, you know, been thinking about taking a trip, wanting to go on vacation or something like that. Um, for some of you, like I said, this could be regarding the move, wanting to like literally pack your bags and move. And some of you now may be questioning that. That could be um, something that you're not expecting where you had plans to move, to relocate. And then all of a sudden within this 30 day time frame, where, you know, maybe there's a delay, there's a halt on that um four 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 in the timer i feel like some of you this delay if it feels like a delay or it feels like you're like something just came up where you're not able to make the move when you want it to that um could also be divine protection with the four 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 that could be archangel michael who is essentially you know kind of like stepping in on your behalf in some type of way because remember our angels and guides can see things that we cannot see they hear conversations we cannot hear you see what i'm saying so some of you um I would just encourage you that if you're, you know, find yourself being delayed in some type of way, or if your intuition is telling you, you know what, let's, you know, put it off, let's wait a little bit longer, you know, before I make this move or before I move in with this person, um, I would trust that. I would trust what you're being guided to do. If you're being guided to wait a little bit longer and just to watch a little bit more, especially if it feels like your partner's, um, if this has to do with the relationship, right? And it feels like your partner's behavior is changing, things like that, pay attention to that. It's, it's not happening for, you know, no reason, okay? So, um let's see let's clarify mm, let's see i'm trying to figure out how i want to do this let's just go straight across and then i'll dive in deeper with the tarot and then we'll clarify okay so in regards to your uh, money career finances we have home okay so some of you this definitely has to do with your foundation okay for some of you whatever's going on in your home going on in your home life could be definitely affecting your finances at this time okay some of you um it may feel like your like your um income could be fluctuating or maybe a lot of what you're making is being put into your home at this time it feels like some of you maybe like i said have been wanting to move have been wanting to sell sell your house or just kind of like your your lease for some of you is about to be up where it's now you're considering on moving in with your person or moving in with someone where, like I said, some of you, what you're not expecting here is where you thought you were going to be leaving or relocating. Some of you may now be um, putting that on a hold, okay? And that could be something you're not expecting where you, you know, had planned on moving, had planned on maybe some of you could have planned on, um, have been working from home, and maybe now that's changing, okay? Some of you who maybe have been working at a regular job and actually going in, some of you that what you're not expecting is you could be starting to work from home. Something may be going on or happening to where you're finding yourself having to, you know, kind of like change your plan of how you do your work, of how you're, um, how you make your money. Okay. That could also be something that's changing here that some of you are not expecting, especially as it relates to your money, career finances. Some of you, um, maybe changing careers where now you're, you were working at a regular nine to five and now you're working for yourself. You're working from home. Okay. Something may be happening, um, or going on to where you're finding that it benefits you more for, by working from home, or it's, you know, the, just the way things are playing out where you no longer have to leave. Okay. So, you know, it could be actually more benefiting you than it may seem at first. Okay. Or just something to consider here. All right. So when it, per as it pertains to the unexpected, when it talks about your love life, we have someone else. Okay. Someone else is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Okay. So for some of you, um, there could definitely be, like I said, for those of you that are in a connection that, um, like I said, been having, you know, been wanting to move or wanting to move in with your person. I feel like some of you, like I said, are, you know, kind of like in this energy of observing this person's behavior because it feels like they're, you know, they're acting different for some of you. Okay. If it feels like your person is cheating, it, they very well may be. That may be something you're not expecting, something you didn't see coming. Um, with this person, especially if it feels like things have been going great, things have been going good, especially if you guys have been, like I said, considering moving, okay, that could be something, like I said, that it, within the next 30 days, you guys are putting on hold, where if you were going to move in with this person, some of you are kind of like, you know, putting that on hold or changing your mind about it, because there may be some truth that is coming out within, you know, this time frame that some of you are not expecting, some truth about maybe someone dealing with someone else, there being someone else involved, or this could be like your person's ex, okay, someone that is not over your person person it could be it could be someone on your side as well all right my bad my alarm went off to feed my snake so anyway um <clears throat> 
So like I said, this could fall on either either side. This could be someone on your person's side that's trying to sabotage your connection, okay, to keep you guys from taking things to the next level, especially if it's involved moving together. This could be someone's, um, and now a third party situation, you know, keep in mind, even when, it, when we're talking about this in the tarot, a lot of people, a lot of readers typically automatically go to the first thing. And I'm not saying that, you, you know, their intuition isn't telling them that, but sometimes you know that's typically the first thing that people go towards is when you hear a third party or someone else being involved we automatically think it's a part like a spouse or you automatically think they're cheating a third party doesn't always have to be you know someone that they're sleeping with or someone that they're cheating on you with a third party could also still be family it could be a parent it could be a child it could be a boss okay it could be a co-worker it could be a friend it, you know sometimes a third party could simply indicate a job right some type of um, third influence aside of you your person but another influence a third influence that is you know influencing a situation so keep that in mind as well but this card in particular does say someone else so this particular situation if this you know is resonating with you this in particular could be definitely talking about an actual person however like i said though it doesn't always have to mean though that your person is cheating okay or that this is someone that they are you know um having an affair with or doing something behind your back with like i said like it's going to resonate different for all of you however if that is something that you are discovering then you know you take them as they apply but um this could like i said be someone trying to sabotage this this could definitely be like i said a parent a family especially if like say for example um you know you and your person are really really close and they may have a parent <clears throat> like a mother figure for example who is also really close to them that could be who this other person is that's trying to sabotage this connection that could be trying to like that could be <clears throat> getting in your person's ear and saying things that are typical that are making this person you know act different or make them kind of like question whether or not you guys should move in together or you know kind of like really fucking with your person's mind okay so like i said it's, it's going to be different for all of you but i feel like it's important for you guys to really you know if you are already in the energy of observing this person's behavior and kind of like watching them and you know watching how they're how they're acting how they're responding the shifts that they're making you know keep your eye open for that because it's going to be telling it's always going to tell you what you need to know it's just a matter of you um allowing yourself to see what needs to be seen and not you know blind yourself or you know hide the truth from yourself you know we don't want to dupe ourselves into thinking like oh i'm just overreacting i'm just tripping i'm not saying seek problems or you know be paranoid but see the situation for what it is you know what i'm saying if your intuition keeps telling you like some don't feel right some don't feel right don't ignore that it's happening for a reason it's always going to be there to help you so it's just a matter of how you choose to view um you know what you're getting what you're what you're perceiving from a situation okay so as it pertains to a challenge we have go the distance okay so for some of you you're not it's like some of you are in this energy um libra or you know maybe this is like i said something you're coming into it feels like this is definitely regarding a connection like i said someone that you are either already living with or someone that you are you know have been contemplating on moving in with or you know going on a trip with it could even be simply just going on a vacation but for others of you this really feels like it's deeper than that it feels more so like you were literally about to pack your uproot your life so to speak meaning move out of your current place of residence into a residence with another person okay and so the challenge here for some of you that you're not expecting is you know where maybe you had you know deep plans on moving in with this person and things you know going great where now you're not even sure if things will last you're not even sure if you'll even get that far if things will even get to that point okay so um clarifying this energy so clarifying the journey card in your general messages we have the queen of pentacles okay so for some of you it feels like some of you are this person could be already in a connection they could already be committed to someone else so like i said if this is maybe as simple as you know a vacation like you guys are thinking about going on and taking a trip okay some of you you know um some of you may be you know kind of like putting that on hold or on pause because some of you like i said are either having an, an inkling about it or questioning whether or not um someone is even available okay that could be what this queen of pentacles is is representing here is you know whoever this person is that you're dealing with is maybe committed elsewhere they're already in a commitment but making you think that you know they're ready to take this big jump and leap with you and they're not even available to do that okay now on the flip side of that Another message that I'm getting here with this is for some of you, this could be a trip that some of you are not expecting that you maybe have, um, maybe you were expecting like a house to sell. Okay. Some of you may be selling your home or selling, you know, something where you're expecting a certain amount of money that's going to allow you to take a trip, allow you to maybe move countries or go on a vacation of some sort, take some sort of trip. And what you're not expecting is maybe, you know, 
the resources that you didn't think you would have to go on this trip, you may end up having them. Okay. So, you know, like I said, take it as it fits. It could also, you know, be, you know, the opposite of that, where you were expecting to go on a trip and, you know, thought you had the money and now the money is being having to be put in somewhere, put into something else. But for others of you, this is like maybe a trip that you really wanted to go on, but didn't think you would have the finances to actually fund the trip. And you're actually not expectedly, you know, unexpectedly coming up with the finances to fund it. Okay. So let's clarify what this is Spirit, let's clarify this energy for libra so let's see Spirit, clarify the queen of pentacles for libra what is it here okay that was easy six of swords yeah so it feels like some of you are going to end up taking a trip that you've been wanting to take some of you have been like kind of like doubting if you can go doubting if you would even have maybe the time or like i said the money the resources to do that to take this trip unexpectedly it feels like you are you are going to come up with the finances or you know the money you need to book the flight or to you know um book the trip whatever that is for you okay so let's keep going so as it pertains to your money career finances we have the ace of swords so this could like i said be communication some of you this is a breakthrough within your within like a job some of you've been looking for a job and been waiting to hear back this is you know unexpectedly you're finally hearing back even if it's been a while it may feel like it's taken you know longer than it should okay um i feel like some of you within the next 30 days will be hearing back from a from an employer or like some of you have been maybe unemployed for some time being at, you know spending a lot of time at home where it's kind of like what the fuck like i need to make money i need to be able to pay my bills i want to go on this trip or i need to move you know something like that this is the breakthrough energy this is that breakthrough of communication that you know the communication you've been waiting for for some of you this is suddenly while you're at home just chilling or you know doing your normal everyday you know day-to-day -day routines you're coming up with some type of idea okay some of you this is definitely archangel michael's energy again showing up here we all i saw four for four on the timer um at the beginning of the video and now here we are with the ace of swords this is second the second um confirmation of archangel michael being present here so it feels like for some of you this is like an idea that some of you are getting that's going to propel you forward in some type of way it's gonna you know give you an idea of maybe some something that you end up applying to or some type of um you know research that you start doing some idea that you have that's going to break through whatever you feel like you're stuck in it's going to help you move forward in some type of way okay so let's clarify this ace of swords there what is this ace of swords for libras as it pertains to their money career and finances in the next 30 days clarify the ace of swords for libra five of swords so like i said this is some type of communication that's that you guys are breaking through this is something that maybe you guys have been kind of like really in your mind about having a lot of conflict some of you've had arguments over whatever this is um for some of you this is truth okay some type of truth or clarity is coming out that you're not expecting and that could be what's like i said propelling some type of move here okay because we have truth here at the bottom of this deck that we used for this card okay and the ace of swords so for some of you this is getting some type of truth or clarity something that's coming out something that's coming to the surface that some of you like i said are not expecting and um you know like i said it's it's it may be painful it may cause an argument it may end up in you know resulting in some type of conflict some type of fight of some sort i don't mean physical necessarily although you know when people try to say shit below the belt it can definitely go there um but it feels like you know just you know some type of conflict for others of you if this you know if there's not you know if this if you guys are single you know for those that are watching that are single this could simply be your own mind okay things that you've been kind of like really in your mind back and forth about overthinking um you know all the doubts that you're that you've been having like all the limitations limiting beliefs that have been telling you that you can't do this or it won't work or you know you're not going to get what you need it's going to be hard all those you know type of things some of you are finally breaking through those limiting beliefs those doubts those you know thoughts that try to you know keep us from moving forward okay so some of you are unexpectedly getting some type of breakthrough whether like i said it's coming in the form of an idea that you have or you know someone randomly calling you and say hey you know i know you've been looking for a job or i'm sorry you know it took this long to get back you know we finally got your application and we want to put you you know bring you in for an interview like some of you are hearing back from someone unexpectedly that you're not ex you're obviously not expecting okay like i said especially if it's something that you've been waiting quite some time to hear back about and it's been like you feel like you know maybe you've been forgotten this is your indication that you haven't been forgotten some of you've been really overthinking this um 
but I feel like, like I said, you're unexpectedly, things are about to get easier. Okay. So clarifying your love life and someone else, we have the three of cups. Okay. So this is definitely a third party situation is what I'm getting here. Someone else clarified by the three of cups. That is so fucking wild that the way this, you know, has already played out. <laughs> like y'all saw me do the pre-shuffle. So, you know, I don't have no reason to try to like set this shit up. Like I don't do that. Um, some of you, this is definitely a third party situation, meaning like someone else as in like, um, some type of connection. Okay. Someone that you're dealing with, that's trying to come between you okay for some of you this is someone's ex okay this is also giving me someone that is trying to reconnect with your person that's trying to that maybe has heard that you guys are going on a trip of some sort or maybe has gotten word or some type of you know through a little birdie or some shit that um you guys are moving in together this is someone that's you know salty about that and that's trying to come back in between um come in between your connection come you know in between your person or something and you're kind of like feel like some of you are hearing about this okay where your person is being maybe you guys are confronting your person that could be this truth that comes out okay where some of you may be catching someone at the house okay while you're supposed to be at work or somebody's working from home and you happen to come home and find out you know discover some sort of truth that leads to an argument okay that's like i said not going to be for all of you but it's like these different messages are coming in now so for some of you this is definitely about a person who's trying to come in between your connection okay this could be like i said someone who's trying to like reconcile with your person who's trying to take them off your hands basically trying to get back in their good graces this could be on your side or theirs but it you know this definitely feels like an actual person that here that is trying to um and it could still be you know a part of your community this could be because this card represents community as well okay so this could definitely be someone from a friendship circle someone in your family or theirs you know whatever if you have like you know take it as it fits so for some of you this person um that's trying to come in your in between your connection could definitely be a sibling okay it could be someone who doesn't like you or who doesn't like you know someone from your family that doesn't like your person like however that fits you'll know who this person is um, but for others of you where you know like your person is dealing with someone else or cheating or an ex that's crazy you know type of thing then that could be who this is as well okay so it just feels like this is the unexpected energy where someone from either your past or theirs is is definitely trying to come back into the picture here okay I, like i said because i feel like um they know that you guys are moving that you you know your person is moving or you guys you're moving and with you guys are basically moving in together whatever this person could definitely be a fire sign oh yeah someone that's spying okay and a liar all right with challenges communicate it's like yeah someone's trying to trying to create problems here and it feels like it could definitely be an aries leo or sag um here someone that's been watching watching you watching your person okay someone could be like sending someone to your house like driving by your house to cause problems okay to you know something like that someone could be like watching to see like when when you guys are gonna and that could be part of why some of you have been considering moving okay so it feels like somebody is is literally like crazy like they're like they're not they don't have all their screws right that's what this feels like whoever this person is it's like this person doesn't have all their fucking screws like someone's clearly not over someone else okay at the bottom the prince of swords exactly spy energy so someone's definitely watching okay this is someone who's maybe watching on social media watching what you post watching what your person posts okay or this is someone who's simply driving by i'm hearing unmarked car so this could be someone who's driving by your house or your person's house in a car that does not belong to them okay they could be riding with someone else who's just like driving by to see if you're there okay trying to pop up and show up here to you know start something with you or your person okay that could be something that you're not expecting so if you have an inkling of someone that's been like watching feeling like this feeling of people watching you but really not knowing where it's coming from you know make sure that you're protecting yourself make sure you got pepper spray make sure that you're not finding yourself out by yourself late at night or without protection of some sort okay it doesn't matter what it is even your keys i will show you real fast because this is god damn it this is shit that people don't don't teach you okay so i'm gonna just show you with my old keys because my other ones just fell so when you're walking, if you're by yourself, you catch yourself by yourself, okay? What I've learned to do at a young, younger age is hold your keys like this, okay? So if you need to fuck someone up, all right, you can protect yourself with your own keys, all right? It's like nowadays you can't depend on, you know, always being able to call someone to come to your aid when you when something happens all of a sudden and, you know, shit goes down. Sometimes you just need to know how to protect yourself while you're by yourself without, you know, it's like self-defense, right? 
It's like without having a gun or something that's illegal, like that's using what you have on hand to protect yourself if you need to, okay? Am I condoning or promoting violence? Absolutely fucking not. No, I'm not. But I'm just saying, for some of you, you might benefit by keeping those things in mind while you're especially with the spy energy here someone is definitely watching with the page of swords it's like someone's definitely keeping their eye on you someone's like you know maybe going around asking questions trying to get information about what you're doing what your person is doing where they're at if they're home okay what time you're home type shit okay so spirit clarify the three of cups why is it here for libra clarify that for Libra, please clarify the three of cups. thank you so we have the queen of cups okay so for some of you this is um i'm getting cancer pisces scorpio energy we also have gemini libra aquarius your energy here as well so for some of you this is someone's you know kid's mom or something or someone that still has feelings for this person okay whether this is someone who has feelings for you or someone who still has feelings for them it's like someone's feelings are involved here someone's maybe um like like getting like really someone who's really emotional over this person okay this could be someone that still cares about this person, obviously. Feelings are definitely still very present here, okay? So, like I said, it could be a, a water sign or a um, fire sign. That's what we've seen so far here. So, in your challenge, like I said, we have to go the distance. So, like I said, some of you are feeling challenged with, you know, wondering if this can actually work, if things will actually be successful, okay? So, six of wands, like I said, if this will actually, you know, go the distance, if you guys will actually you know make the move if things will actually go the way you want it to go okay some of you this person gets a lot of attention okay that could be what's challenging here is that you don't know if something will um get to the its final destination or like the the whatever goal that you guys have will actually get completed and it could be because of all the attention that this person is getting for some of you this person could be in this in the limelight they could be famous or you know just someone who's you know very um who's like seen by a lot of people okay like I said, this person, some of you are dating a celebrity or this person is just very attractive. So they have a lot of people that are vying for their attention. For some of you, this could be someone who's like on the come up. Your person could be on the rise or this, like I said, could be you where um, they have people, whether it's you or your person has people coming back around, people from their past that are coming back around now that they're doing well. Okay. Now that they're, you know, maybe moving up in life, they've been dating someone else. Okay. That could be causing problems here. And so now you guys are in this, you know, this is what's challenging you, what's challenging uh, the situation here that you're maybe not expecting, okay, is all the attention that someone is getting or that's being brought to you, to your connection, okay? Some of you are now like kind of wondering like, do we, do we, does this connection, is it strong enough? Do, do we really have what it takes? Is our love strong enough to stand the test of time is what I'm getting here, okay? And that could be, what, like I said, what's challenging for you guys, but it's going to be important for you again to speak your truth, stand up for yourself, Okay, make sure that, you know, how you truly feel is acknowledged and um, expressed. Okay, so let's see. Clarify the six of wands, spirit. Why is that here for Libra? Regarding a challenge for the next 30 days, unexpected challenge. What is the six of wands? Why is that here for Libra? Please. Magician in reverse. Yeah, so some of you... This could definitely be someone that you guys are concerned about, um, you know, someone who's under some sort of, you know, spell, under some sort of black magic. For some of you, this is in it. This in it simply, if it doesn't, if it's not that deep for, you know, whoever we're talking about here, this could simply be someone who's trying to manipulate someone, okay? Someone who's maybe using, you know, vying for their attention by showing them their body, okay? Or, you know, giving them some, all this, you know, kind of like giving them a bunch of love, tension, and affection that's essentially manipulating them to, you know, it's like some of you, that could be what's challenging here is where you're feeling like my person is easily manipulated by the attention that they get, the attention that other people are giving them. Do we have, does this relationship really have what it takes to go the distance? Does it, does it really have what it takes to last if they're constantly getting thrown, you know, different people in their energy and they're being manipulated by that? Are they easily manipulated by the pussy or, you know what I mean? The, the you know, the wand, sorry. Um, just being honest here. Some of you, that could be what's, what's you guys are feeling challenged with is like, you know, do you have what it takes, you know? Is, this, or is your relationship solid enough to where when people do come back to them or come into their attend, you know, into their experience, you know, throwing their emotions at them and crying over them or whatever the fuck, do they have what it takes to not be manipulated or, you know, um, fall for the okie doke, get, you know, caught up in that trap. Okay. 
So that could be something that some of you are, you know, really being guided to talk to your person about, have that conversation. You know, that this communication is the best way. Some of you are really, you know, this is really stressing you out. Some of you are really in your mind overthinking this. Okay. So the overall outcome here is the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So this is a brand new beginning. So like I said, some of you would really benefit by having a conversation with this person and, you know, um, starting over. Okay. Some of you, this could definitely represent a new job something that really has potential to, you know, go the distance. This could be also a new person, okay? It's like, you know, this could definitely be a proposal of some sort, like wanting to start over, have a clean new slate, but just know that, you know, if this happens to be like a proposal of marriage, marriage is not going to fix problems that aren't discussed. So I would, you know, highly encourage you to not go into something thinking that, well, if they marry me, it'll fix everything. Or if we have a baby, that'll fix everything. No, it does not. It does not. A uh, Marriage nor a child stops people from cheating okay it doesn't stop people from getting a divorce it doesn't stop people from you know having a baby elsewhere while they're in a commitment like it doesn't stop any of that so just you know be mindful but we do have the overall outcome here is the ace of pentacles so <clears throat> this is a brand new opportunity some you know like i said for some of you this is a job of some sort some type of opportunity to you know leave a situation to be able to provide for yourself something that has a potential to grow into everything you want it to be so let's clarify what's the ace of pentacles here for libra overall potential outcome here ace of pentacles is clarified by so we have ooh, okay leo energy the sun here with the king of wands so some of you this is a new opportunity you know for happiness okay this could definitely like i said be a job of some sort to do something that you're really passionate about something that you're that you have the time energy that you're determined to take action on okay um but for others of you this you know can definitely represent a person okay someone who's you know ready to you know who's very passionate about you but ready to take the lead who's ready to do for you maybe what you what someone else can't okay where someone else what someone else isn't ready to do for you okay or do with you i should say so some of you this is literally a gift from the divine okay where it's like when you kind of like as soon as you leave one situation where some of you are contemplating where it's been maybe difficult um for some of you to leave with this journey in reverse some of you have been maybe wanting to move away from someone and it's maybe been difficult maybe because you've committed yourself has been making it difficult but it's like for some of you it's like once you leave, once you move on, once you go, you know, leave, detach yourself from a situation, that's when you get something else that comes in that actually makes you happy. Something that is, you know, actually a positive force in your life. Okay. Someone who's just as passionate about you as you are for them. Someone who's determined to make you happy. Okay. So, and they have what it takes to do so. All right. So at the bottom, we have the Queen of Swords. So some of you, this is, you know, really that it feels like your energy, Libra, where it's like, you know, it, it's inviting you to you know really um speak your truth here okay to really be honest with yourself to really you know um use your logic head over make head over heart decisions use your logic at this time with the situation and really you know ultimately do what's best for you be willing to speak your truth and be honest with yourself and cutting out anything that anyone anything that does not align that is not um being honest with you that you cannot trust okay because that's ultimately what's going to restore balance here okay what's going to bring balance um back into your life okay so Libras, that's what i have for you and it's interesting because we have the temperance here and the temperance here underneath this queen of swords as well so heavy on the sagittarius energy here showing up twice and then by the queen of cups all right some of you with the um high priestess underneath that ten of swords yeah some of you this person whoever you're dealing with is definitely dealing with someone else some of you this person has already backstabbed you betrayed you once and some of you have been maybe you know not wanting to leave okay because of the commitment that you made but for some of you this person is committed elsewhere okay or um some of you are really being guided to you know instead of committing yourself to someone that you really don't trust or someone that you have to question or someone that's easily manipulated by you know um the attention and shit that people give them you know clout chasing and shit like that this is you know for some of you your your indication to commit to yourself recommit to yourself to your goals to your dreams to you know a new life for yourself a new start a new beginning a new opportunity that the universe is presenting to you that i feel like has the potential to make you really fucking happy okay and for some of you it really feels like a person if this like i said fire fire is definitely heavy in this uh reading at this time so this could definitely be a fire sign of, of this other person that someone else you know this could be like i said for some of you this is an ex whether it's on your person's side or yours but 
Um, this could be an ex that's trying to get in between your connection with your person, or this is someone that um, is trying someone else that what just came to me is for someone for some of you, this someone else could be representing this new love connection that for some of you is trying to come in. Okay, that's trying to, you know, for some of you, it could definitely be someone you've already dealt with that's trying to get back in your good graces. Okay, that's trying to, you know, present themselves to be this, you know, positive light in your life. That's someone who's, you know, all about you and super passionate about you and that wants to have a new beginning. For some of you, that could apply there. But for some of you, this is actually a brand new person, someone that you haven't met or that you will be meeting within the next 30 days. Okay, so you have to just take it as it, as it applies. But very uh very interesting reading here libra so um yeah definitely a lot of unexpectedness going on here so you know like i said follow your intuition do your best to stay as balanced as possible and know that any negative energy that comes towards you you always have the ability to alchemize and transmute that energy and shift it into a situation that is more beneficial to you versus one that is de detrimental to you okay you you definitely always have that power so I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, I appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you have not. And until next time, you guys. Abby.